change behavior to protect our communities from pollution environmentalists sound off. Letters to the Editor The column on Earth Day, You Shouldn't Feel Guilty About Your Plastic Trash was incomplete. The scope and concerns about plastic pollution today go way beyond the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. While Asian plastic sources and abandoned fishnets are the largest single components of the huge Pacific patches, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be improving our practices. Communities around the globe, including those right here in the U.S., are struggling to manage and pay for the explosion in plastic waste clogging waterways and polluting roadways, parks and neighborhoods. In the Los Angeles area, more than 10 metric tons of plastic fragments, such as bags, straws and bottles, are carried into the Pacific Ocean every day. To suggest this problem can be addressed simply by improving government collection systems and burning waste ignores the high cost of such technology and the harmful pollution created by open burning. Why should we spend money on expensive collection, recycling and waste management when so many environmentally friendly inexpensive alternatives to single-use plastics exist? And what about the health risks? Plastics have contributed to significant health threats that include widespread, unwanted exposure to endocrine disrupting BPA and DUP and links to cancer and other health issues. The first Earth Day engaged 20 million Americans in individual and collective action, setting in motion the framework environmental laws that cleared our skies and protected our water. To tackle the problem of plastic pollution in our own backyards and bodies, we need to start with changing our own behavior and call on our leaders in government and business to follow suit. Dennis Hayes, organizer of the first Earth Day in 1970 and Kathleen Rogers, president of the Earth Day Network, Washington, D.C. related, on Earth Day 2018. Americans need to defend their planet like it's 1970 David Mascio's defense of plastics. On Earth Day, you shouldn't feel guilty about your plastic trash fundamentally misunderstands this annual event and how to solve plastic pollution. Earth Day is about mobilizing individual action, and skipping the straw or shopping with reusable bags are a great start. Every year, volunteers at Ocean Conservancy's International Coastal Cleanup collect some 10 million of these single-use plastic items. The truth is we rarely need them, and the sea animals impacted by plastic certainly don't, either. Without a doubt. Improving waste management systems in certain Southeast Asian countries is key to mitigating ocean plastic. But let's not fool ourselves, the United States might not be a top 5 plastic polluter, but it is a top 20. We can do better. Plastics do many things when used appropriately and have allowed for great advances. Ocean Conservancy partners with companies, like Dow, to tackle the issue because we know that industry, including plastic companies, has a role to play in solving ocean plastic. Rather than point fingers, let's all pitch in to solve this global problem. Nick Mallows, Trash Free Seas Program Director for the Ocean Conservancy, Portland, or. To join the conversations about topics on USA Today, email letters at usetoday.com, comment on Facebook, or use hashtags today on Twitter.